Welcome to Reason for Truth. I'm your host, Stevie Garofalo. You know, the truth comes first, the reasons come last, but we're always in constantly learning because we stop learning, we stop teaching, or at least stop teaching well. I was reading an article, The Wrong Sydney, American Airlines passenger ends up in Montana. Yep, that's right. Montana instead of Australia. The article by Chris uh, uh, Lowe, L-O-H, published February 15th, 2023. And it says, the New York man must have been incredibly confused upon landing in Sydney, Montana. His intended destination was Sydney, Australia. They said this doesn't happen very often, but uh, it does happen. He said it's uh, booking a flight to the wrong city or airport. It's something that doesn't happen too often. But when it does, it can be embarrassing and costly. So what happened, New York resident who thought that he had booked a trip to Sydney, Australia, only to find himself in Sydney, Montana. Tana. You, you so, measure twice and you cut once because if you catch that wrong flight by, you know, and they don't catch it, you're, uh, you're pretty much um, in Montana, Australia, baby, when you're supposed to be in Montana in the United States. But I'm um, trying to pull this article up and I'm not getting much on here, but I will say this. That at the end of the day, that God's word's clear, that we should serve, this should serve as a reminder, uh, the right way is not the most popular way. Matthew 7, 14 says this, but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. The truth is that following the treacherous road will occasionally run counter to the world around us. It will at times be unpopular. A minority position, as Jesus warned in his Sermon on the Mount. The truth of God through Jesus Christ is always relevant for all human cultures at all times. And at some point, it's going to, I guess I'm trying to say, it's going to contradict their cultural norms, perhaps their cultural religious beliefs. But that doesn't mean that both are true. Both can't be true. Law of non-contradiction. So since societies are constantly in flux, that means their beliefs are constantly in flux. Jesus is immutable. He doesn't change. Never, ever. Sometimes coinciding with the truth, other times deviating from it, with these changing cultures. So people who seek to adjust Jesus' teaching, as the modern church sadly is doing more and more in the United States and around the world, is nothing more than a bad attempt to make the Word of God more relevant, but often ends up doing the opposite. Listen, at the end of the day, we move to God. God doesn't move to us. It's okay to make the message relevant for cultural times, but you have to always stay. And that's why the exegesis and the, you have one interpretation, many applications. You have to always give the interpretation, and then people will understand what kind of application you have. And as Dr. Hendricks said years ago, uh, listen, you have, you have interpretation and application. If I had my druthers, you know, my choice to have to have a little bit more of one than the other, I would always choose a little bit more interpretation because then if you don't, you're going to have a sliding, slippery slope where you give, you get out, you just tell a story and you sprinkle it with scripture versus giving the scripture and giving the history and then giving the lesson in application. So uh, listen, so just like that New York man who was in, incredibly confused upon landing in Sydney, Montana, as intended destinations was Sydney, Australia, we too must be careful not to compromise the word of God, make sure that we're going in the right direction because we can run as hard as we want. In, towards God if we're off track and we're looking at the wrong God or the wrong idea of God or ideas about God as opposed to Scripture we're gonna be running just as hard with just as good intentions but going in the wrong direction and there's no excuse for that because the Word of God is there with the, the proper roadmap right proper compass to show us the way the Word of God in our lives and how we share that truth and the love of Jesus Christ with others is going to also depend on that. Because despite how well-intentioned we may be, Sydney, Montana, and Sydney, Australia are worlds apart. Just as the narrow gate that leads to heaven in the opposite direction, which is hell, is just as opposite. God's blessings to you. Appreciate you tuning in to Reason for Truth. Make sure you do a couple things. Subscribe. If you want to join my community, stephengarafalo.com. That's with a V, not a P-H. Check it out. Join us. It's no cost unless you want to support that effort. I think $5 a month, but you can join for free as well. You'll get a lot of great content and my monthly, or my, excuse me, my daily uh, scriptural encouragement each morning. God's blessings to you. I'm your host, Stevie Garofalo, and this is your Reason for Truth for today. <music>